And we did have mostly cloudy skies with some scattered showers still around today and temperatures staying near where they should be this time of year, even though we did have uh, the clouds and the showers. Let's take a look at the tower cam time lapse. This is our first alert sky cam in Fargo. We did have mostly cloudy skies as we made our way through the day today. A few showers into the Fargo area, but staying mainly dry otherwise. Uh, had some fog this morning into Lakes Country. Temperatures rising through the 60s and into the lower 70s for highs up and down the Red River Valley. Mid to upper 60s across Lakes Country, upper 60s Devils Lake in Jamestown, and the warm spot into northwestern Minnesota as we do have high temperatures today into the lower 70s. Current temperatures around the region, colder air starting to filter into our northern and western counties. 54 your current temperature at Devils Lake, 59 at Jamestown, and we're into the upper 50s and lower 60s northern valley northwestern Minnesota. Some upper 60s now on the map into the Southern Valley. The winds have flipped around from a southeasterly direction to a northerly direction. Most of us having wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. The northerly wind will cool us down as we go through the day tomorrow. Here is the estimated rainfall as we made our way through the weekend. Most of us getting less than a half an inch denoted here in the blue, but making our way into the Devil's Lake Basin over the past two days. We're looking at rainfall amounts one to two inches in the yellow here and two to three inches in the oranges. As you make your way from the Maddock area uh, out toward Kandu and Rock Lake, we did have one to three inches of rain over the weekend as that band of some thunderstorms just set up and stayed in one place, especially for hours going through the day yesterday. We have since dried out, mostly cloudy skies across the region. Uh, still some scattered showers around the Jamestown area, out toward New Rockford, Devils Lake, Michigan, Cooperstown, some scattered showers in your direction. And uh, as you make your way into northwestern Minnesota, from the Crookston area to Thiefer Falls to Minoman, uh, some drizzle or some scattered showers starting to dry out. Low pressure system is exiting high pressure is starting to make its way and give us that northerly wind as we go through the day tomorrow but we will stay mainly dry here's how it looks on the hour by hour forecast with those scattered showers coming to an end as we go through the overnight we do have mostly cloudy skies temperatures tomorrow starting off into the 50s now we're going to keep a good amount of cloud cover and we can't rule out a shower or possible rumble of thunder as we go through the day tomorrow temperatures will remain into the uh, low 60s to lower 70s depending on where you are as we start to finally clear out as we make our way through tomorrow evening. Here's what it looks like uh, uh, recapping tomorrow's forecast with mostly cloudy skies, maybe a passing shower, most of us staying dry starting off in the mid 50s and topping off in the lower 70s in Fargo. Cooler air with highs in the mid 60s out toward Devil's Lake and Jamestown lower 70s in our Minnesota counties. As we go through the day on Tuesday, we do have decreasing clouds as most of us turn mostly sunny and temperatures will be into the upper 70s to near 80 by later on to the afternoon. Here's the photo of the day. It's called Intense Sun, Green Grass in Breckenridge. Thank you to Samantha for this one using the background of the seven day forecast. Wednesday through Friday, we got partly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a shower or thunderstorm any one of those days, but again, mainly dry through most of the week. 84 on Wednesday, lower to mid 70s Thursday and Friday, and then back to mostly sunny skies for next weekend. And we will be warmer with temperatures into the low to mid 80s. Certainly starting to look like some summer temperatures when we get to next weekend. Thanks so much, Justin.